Hello, this is Vitualista Chess Noob learning and having fun with chess. In some games, all the pieces get a turn. In other games, one piece will be the star of the show and will be the MVP of the match. In this rapid 10 minute game I played recently, I screwed up in the opening and was in a losing position, but then one of my bishops managed to capture 14 points of material, completely turning the game around. I hope you enjoy! Let's, let's first have a look at the review. Uh, so this is the chess.com algorithm. I played black in this game, so not an overly accurate game. As you can see, I was doing badly from the opening, and then the opponent makes a critical error, a critical blunder. Uh, and you know, as per the chess.com bot, uh, one player was winning, but then gave it away. Let's now have a look at the analysis. Right, so the opponent in this game played an accelerated London system. So started out with d4, I respond with d5, and then they play bishop to f4. Now, the best move here is to develop a knight to f6, but I wasn't quite uh, thinking here because this was a short 10 minute game and I just blitzed out some moves. So I played uh, knight to c6 and you can, as you can see, it already gives a substantial advantage to white. Uh, they developed knight to c3, I developed my other knight. Again, you know, stepwise, stepwise badness. And, and basically the problem here is the knight can um, can push to b5, uh, and now I have a serious problem. Um, and so the apparent defense I should have played here was a6, but I was just knocking out moves, not really, not really thinking this through. Uh, now the opponent plays b5, and this was where I had to think, and I realized, ooh, I made a mistake. Uh, I did play what ended up being the best move, which was to, to play e5, blocking uh, blocking uh, the bishop's um, access to um, to my pawn on c7. Um, the opponent can capture back uh, with the pawn, and here what I needed to do was to follow up with uh, follow up with knight to h5, um, again, launching an attack on the bishop, uh, and a bishop can't simply retreat uh, uh, to g3 to remain on the same diagonal, given that they will be captured by the knight. Uh, and the opponent can't simply capture the pawn on c7 immediately because they don't have two attackers on that pawn. So that's what I should have done. Uh, I didn't see that during the game. I I played knight d7, which was a mistake. So really, um, I basically lost the opening and the opponent should have won from this point. Uh, nonetheless, um, you know, I played on um, and I just uh, resigned myself that that rook was lost, but I was hoping that maybe I wouldn't feel that loss of the rook, given that rock, uh, rook losses aren't usually felt, and effectively the opponent um, traps their knight on the a8 square, and as I thought, look, I might still have some chances here. Uh, so I had to move the king out of the way, and now that uh, that um, that knight can't can't escape um, without uh, without you know, uh, well, not easily anyway, especially if I knock out that bishop. So I immediately pushed my pawn to e5. Now I did know that this pawn on d5 was hanging uh, with check, but I was just hoping that the opponent wouldn't see it. Uh, and yes, they didn't see it. They retreated their, retreated their bishop. Now this instantly gave me the opportunity to play d4. Now both pawns are protected by that knight. And I was, I was happy here. Interestingly enough, you know, the evaluation uh, is worse for me, so Stockfish hates this, but from a human playable perspective, I, I thought it was okay. And this knight is now trapped for the, for the time being on a8. Opponent uh, plays e3, which was a good move. Um, here I, you know, <laughs> just uh, throwing wild haymakers, you know, bishop to b4 with check, uh, that was expected. Capture back with a pawn. The opponent now brings out their bishop. Uh, I thought I was probably okay here, probably okay. Uh, I uh, I um, retreated, uh, well, 
pulled my king back to f8. And here, I think the opponent got too aggressive. They're bringing pieces out, trying to check, and I think they just lost sight of this diagonal. And when I saw that, I was actually wondering, is this a trap? Uh, are they able to capture my queen, the next move? And then, no, I thought, no, this is a straight out blunder. They just hung their queen, a bow test gambit. So I was more than happy to oblige. And here I am completely winning. So I felt that you know, just luck just happened to be on my side here. Um, but I still, of course, need to convert this into a win. Opponent captures the pawn. Um, I bring out now my queen with a sort of potential attack on that pawn, which, you know, if the opponent doesn't uh, do something about that, that comes uh, with check, uh, which would you know, lead to a loss of that rook. Uh, the opponent did see that, so good move, uh, defending the pawn with uh, knight e2. Um, here I was, uh, you know, a, an attack on both the bishop and the knight. Either way, I was happy to try to liquidate pieces, given that I was now uh, attack, uh, ahead on, on material. The opponent um, pulls their uh, pulls their bishop back, which I think was uh, was an error because now I have a straight out capture of that knight, and the opponent has no compensation, given I can bring my knight back out without a problem. Uh, castles doesn't do them anything. I think uh, I decide to develop. Um, the, the pawn to g6 so that I would have a place to to uh, escape with my with my uh, with my king opponent brings um, their centralizes the rook to um, to d1 so fd1 um, I moved my bishop out of the way to a3 uh, opponent now you know trying to uh, make some attacks which are which is a good idea but this is easily sidestepped uh, with uh, with queen to c7. Uh, opponent now brings their other rook to form a battery. No, not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Uh, however, I now have a potential attack on that rook, and now the opponent misses the same bishop and the same diagonal again. So I think they must have a blindness for diagonals. And here, um, basically, it was a great opportunity to just liquidate pieces. So captures, they capture back, captures back, and here, you know, I've got an opportunity for back rank mate once that bishop is taken care of. So that that's what I was uh, that's what I was thinking of. Um, opponent captures that allows me to capture back, and next turn I either uh, I was planning on just just whacking that bishop, and then things were looking pretty good. Uh, they opted to capture first, which leads to you know, leads to back rank uh, back rank mate. Never too late to hang back rank mate. Look, very happy with that with that fairly funny game. Um, I completely screwed up the opening, and yet um, uh, I think the opponent's you know, errors around around diagonals, and with that bishop being just the you know the MVP of this match, uh, allowed me to to clinch the match. So GG to the opponent. I'm not hugely familiar with defending against the London system, and as I just blitzed out some opening moves, I only caught my opening error after the move was made. However, the opponents seem to have a weakness for seeing diagonals, allowing the bishop to not only snipe first the queen, but then also the rook. The two lessons from this game is that we need to know the opening moves for the common openings, and it's good to consciously and deliberately visualize the pieces that can command long diagonals, the bishops and the queen. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.